Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Book Week, part one at magicreviewed.com. Today we've got Equilateral 3 by J.C. Sum. This is the third book in his Illusion Blueprint series. <coughs> um, I've reviewed one of them and I gave it a pretty good review. This one, not as good. I still gave it three star Stone Sass of Gem. Had a couple problems with it though. But before I tell you the problems, let me tell you the one thing I really, 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 really liked. Um, that is this right here. That, if you're familiar with the, the mismade girl, this is his version of it. And you're not going to see how the illusion works, but check that out. So that's, uh, I tried to describe that in the written review, but that's kind of hard. But you separate the girl into four parts, and you can see the head is at the top, and then uh, the, the chest and the torso over here, the legs at the bottom, and then the midsection, the waist is over on the other side. I love that display. Uh, if I were an illusionist and I were going to do a mismade girl, or if I were an illusionist already doing the mismade girl, I would switch to this version. This is really cool. Um, now, reading the instructions, um, it's it's a lot. I mean, it's several pages here. Holy cow! It's like I don't know, a lot of pages. And I'm not an illusionist, so some of this stuff's a little bit over my head. So the way I reviewed the last one is I would read through it, make sure I could kind of understand it, and look at it and go, okay, would a builder or somebody who knows about illusions be able to build this if I gave them this book and said, here, I want you to build this illusion. And then the next thing is, does the illusion perform or look as good um, as, as they say it does? I mean, I'm not going to sit and build all these illusions to figure that out. So what I did is I looked on YouTube, and there were other magicians who had built some of these, and then some of them JC, some himself, built and performed. And I was able to see, wow, that illusion looked really good, and it, it does look as good as it does, and the prop is as simple looking as it claims, and so on and so forth. Um, I tried to do that with this book and I couldn't. Uh, there was only one video that I found on YouTube and it was the motorcycle production and it did look really good and I actually put, I embedded that video into the written review on magicreview.com. So if you're reading this, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube itself, go over to the site and, and look at it. If you're looking at it on the site already, just look down below in the description and you'll see it there. Um, maybe I'll put a link to it in the YouTube description too. Uh, but anyway, so that, it looked really good. The illusion looked great. Then I went and read the directions on it. Again, I was kind of confused. So I, I was a little bit of a problem there. Um, the ad copy uh, says that um, these illusions are made for, uh, uh, all of them can be done on cruise ships. And um, I don't know if that's entirely true. One of them is an automobile production. I don't think you can get an automobile on a cruise ship, can you? So I don't think that that one works, and there's just two automobile productions. So I'm a little unsure about that. Um, there's one called the Bluff Automobile Production, and I've read it probably a half dozen times, and I don't get how it functions, how it works. But again, I'm willing to admit that maybe if I were to give this to somebody that understands illusions, that they would go, oh, yeah, it's simple. He's just doing this and that, and it's fine, and give it to an illusion builder, and he can build it. So it's $125 for the book. It's a lot of money for a you know 100 page book it's a dollar a page basically but if you're an illusionist first of all you probably you know your last purchase was probably 20 grand to buy some illusion or whatever so you buy this book for 125 bucks and you get some instructions on how to make some illusions very inexpensively um, and it you know then it's not that bad of an investment so the only other thing that I had that, that's pretty negative about this is it says on the ad copy that once you buy the book, you have access to a special web page. Inside the book, it actually has the web page right here. I'm looking right at it. And when you go to that page, you get a 404 error. That's annoying. And that happens more often than not with products that say, here's a special page. It's just annoying to me. So that was a problem. I gave it three stars, Stone Status of Gem. Um, again, I'm going to just be a little bit loose here and just assume give them the benefit of the doubt that these instructions are properly written you know just because i couldn't understand them doesn't mean that they're not um but they're they're very technical uh and for some reason the one that i read before wasn't near as technical as this uh but jc sum is is a pretty well-known illusion designer 
And so I'm, I'm just kind of going a little bit on faith here that these, these will build the way he says they will. Um, but they were a little bit more confusing to read. Uh, and then based on seeing that motorcycle illusion that looked really good, uh, I, I'm, I'm okay about giving this about a three-star rating, uh, taking off a little bit of a hit because of the couple things I mentioned about the um, ad copy and the, the secret website and all that. So that being said, if you're looking to, I mean, this is a good first step too if you're thinking maybe I, I want to be an illusionist but I don't know, here's a good step. This is a good uh, inexpensive way to get started in uh, illusions. So there you have it. Three stars, Stone Sass of Gem, and random iTunes song of the moment today is, hold on, wait for it, um, Iron Maiden, Hooks in You. You know, I find it funny that I've, I've mentioned this before. Uh, one of the random iTunes songs this week was Taylor Swift, and I, I mentioned on there that number one of my playlists is Metallica, and number two, I have more Metallica than anything. The second most I have is Taylor Swift. Third most I have is Iron Maiden. I get Iron Maiden a lot, and I get Taylor Swift a lot, but I don't get that many Metallicas. I find that funny because I have more Metallicas than anything. So, weird. Anyway, that's it for this review. I've got one more video to film. And that's it for the reviews for the week for Book Week Part 1. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next review. Peace out.